obviously you know that this has taken longer than any of us probably would have liked, but it was important to take the necessary amount of time, do due diligence in, in putting together uh, what I think will be a, a winning combination. Uh, I think we've always had good coaches. I think we've always had good people. Sometimes the chemistry uh, of the uh, staff isn't exactly right. And uh, I think dysfunction may be too strong a word, but when it's not functioning at the highest level, uh, it, it, it leaks down into the program. And, and it isn't anybody's fault, but it is, it is correctable and it has to be corrected, and that's, that responsibility falls on me. And so uh, I, at the conclusion of the season, looked around and, and um, tried to make the necessary adjustments. And those are sometimes painful, most of the time painful, especially when you're dealing with great people, as is the case with the guys that, that I uh, uh, let go uh, and, and so forth. So uh, I've been working to try to put back together what I think will be a, a formidable staff, one that will communicate well with the players, one that will do a great job out recruiting and sharing the vision of UCLA and our football program and one that uh, will get along really, really well with one another and, uh, and check egos at the door and, and we, will, we will fly uh, as we go down the road. You know? uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing if that can't be the case. Obviously we're not done yet, but uh, I think we've made a key hire here today. Uh, actually we made the hire on Thursday, uh, announced it today. Uh, but uh, in, in Mike Johnson, Mike and I go way back. Uh, and he'll tell you more, but we met when Mike was a quarterback at Arizona State and I was still trying to make some money playing the game in the old USFL. And we were out throwing the ball together. He was a quarterback there and I was teaching him how to do a five-step drop to throw it out, how to kick step it towards there. And he listened to me. So that's one of the few guys that ever did. So I decided I should be buddies with him. <laughs> And, uh, and anyway, down the road at Washington, it was, uh, I became very aware that there was somebody kicking our tail in Los Angeles in, in the recruiting department, and, and it was Mike at Oregon State. Uh, I think uh, in, the, in that game where uh, Oregon State played Notre Dame in the Fiesta Bowl, I think 16 of 22 starters for the Beavers that day were Mike Johnson recruits. And uh, so I tried to steal him away from Oregon State at the time, I think it was Dennis. It was at the time when I made the call, but at that time Mike Riley was on his way, had left to go to the Chargers, and Mike was close to going with him when he originally left. Well, now he came and got him. So Mike uh, began a, a, a very uh, uh, interesting and, and beneficial NFL career, which then landed us together in, in Baltimore. And, and we worked uh, right across the office from each other and obviously admired uh, what he did there. and, and just knew that if circumstances were ever uh, in, in such a way where he would be a come available, he'd be a guy that I'd want to have with me here, and, and such was the case. So uh, I'm excited to name him. He's going to coach the wide receivers. He'll be our offensive coordinator. Uh, he'll be, uh, you know, an absolutely integral part of everything we do offensively, and, and uh, I think it's going to be very exciting to see what we can do. I'm also going to name myself the quarterback coach. Uh, I'm going to go back to what I've done. You know, when you're, when you're uh, not doing things as well as you'd like, one thing you know, we all do is go back to our comfort zone. And, and my comfort zone is coaching those guys. It isn't a, uh, anything negative towards the way they've been coached. It's just uh, when I think I can fix things, I want to fix them. And, and you want to get your hands dirty. So I've made the decision that that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll live and die with it, as, you, as they say, uh, but uh, I know I can coach these guys and I know I can coach them well. So I'm looking forward to that responsibility and Mike's comfortable with that. That was my job at uh, the Ravens uh, and when he was the court, uh, wide receiver coach and we worked well with one another. So excited about putting that uh, combination back together. Uh, uh, with respect to Norm, I know the question will come. Uh, we are having ongoing discussions as to how this will all work and, and hopefully uh, that will resolve itself here quickly. Uh, that being said, uh, anything else, Mark, to add? Well, I mean, how, how will it work? I mean, is more on the staff or is he not? We're having ongoing discussions. That's what I'll, I'll set, tell you right now. Uh, if we were, we're in the, in the in, uh, nearing a, a, a uh, 
resolution there that I think will uh, serve everybody's interest. Is that, does that mean you're having, you're having buyout talks? No, I, I, I'm, I, I'm going to leave what I said as, as what I said, and, uh, and we'll, we'll go from there. How are the play calling duties going to be split? Uh, you know, we're going to work through that. You know, uh, you know certainly Mike had ample uh, opportunity to call plays this year with the 49ers. Uh, I know I have the ability to call plays, and, but I think both of us, you know, having known each other and trusting each other, I think we're going to play off each other in that regard. You know, and, and uh, you know, when I was with Carl Durrell early in my career, we, sh we shared that duty. And we, it didn't matter who called it. We just kind of were thinking along the line and having an open conversation as we were going. And, and I think that r results from collaboration throughout the week. So we kind of got a feel as to how it goes. But certainly I, there's, I have zero problem in turning the keys over to Mike and go get it done. And he lets me jump in. Either that or he presses mute. And then I just think that we've got a problem in, in the communication. How's the game plan? Uh, you know, going to go. Is it going to be you? Is it going to be him? Collaborative. Collaborative. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we, we we trust each other, and that's uh, that's a good thing. Rick, if Mike was so high on your list. Why are we hire? I mean, hi, why are you hiring a guy two months after you basically said, you know, you're going to start this process? Oh, the, the, I think that you, you just hit the nail on the head. It's a process. There are some things that have to be uh, dealt with uh, as you try to put pieces in place, and uh, it, it takes. Uh, a great deal of thought and, and uh, careful uh, deliberation before you come up with the perfect formula. Uh, and, you know, I, I didn't anticipate it taking this long, but, but uh, you know, just to, to get it right, it was worth waiting. So Mike's hire doesn't mean there's a resolution with Norm? It does not uh, indicate uh, anything with regard to Norm. Norm's con conversations with the university are still ongoing. We're working that through. And, and right now, Norm's still part of our staff. You mentioned checking egos at the door. Was that a problem? Not sure. You know, I, when I said it, I knew that would be a question. The answer is no. Uh, but I think it's important that we leave that room united. And, uh, and that's not to say that it wasn't the case, but I think we can do better in that regard. Is that a reflection of, of the debates about the pistol offense and who... No, no, I think, I think we all bought into the pistol offense. There's no finger pointing at all with regard to that. I think uh, retrospectively we wonder if it was exactly the thing to do, but uh, uh, I think we all bought in, and, and uh, so I don't think there's any finger pointing at all to anybody about that. So what offense are you we're going to, We're going to put it together. Uh, you know, we, we, we certainly want the ability to throw the